this is Captain Taylor speaking. We are going to be flying into SAP airspace today. I have my co-pilot, Amy the Cat. She's never been to pilot school. It's going to take us on a 17-hour journey at 36,000 feet. Checking my weather and maps here. It's sunny. 18 degrees Celsius in Vancouver, BC, Canada. Local time. 7.37 p.m. We're gonna get you there on time, folks. Buckle up, and let's get started with today's video. Are my videos getting weirder? Or am I getting weirder? Or both? I'm not sure anymore. Today we're gonna cover a really easy way to update your price lists. Even without the data transfer workbench, you could do this whole process just with SAP Business One, the client, and Excel and a text file. I'll provide a query in order to extract the data. You just modify it and then you can run the information you wanna update back into SAP. No special tools or passwords or anything. But before we get started, I wanna say visit www.battleshipcobra.com has all my information, including my Crystal Reports for SAP Business One course and my SQL for SAP Business One course. Online self-paced, check them out. Check out all my other videos. If you could go look through my video list, you'll see a ton of other tips and tricks and be one up stuff and all that. It's really worth checking out on my channel, youtube.battleshipcobra.com. Make sure you like, subscribe, and join the notification squad by clicking that little bell. It will send you an email whenever I make a new video. You can expect new videos weekly on Mondays at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So let's get started with this price list update right now. So every business needs to update their price list, and this is just an easy way to do it using Excel and simple tools in the SAP Business One client. The part of this that you're gonna use is modules, administration, data import, export, data import, and import from Excel. Data type to import, price lists. We're gonna go price list number, and then item number. You can save this as a template if you want. If you do it all the time, it'll just save it where it is. Um, but I'm just gonna leave it for now. The second thing you need to do is you need to run a query and I'll provide this query in the description below. I have a HANA one and an SQL one. In this case, I'm gonna run my HANA one. So you take the file here, you take the HANA section, copy it, tools, queries, query generator, execute, it's the only way to get to this page. Click the little pencil icon at the top, highlight select, and you just want to clear this out and you want to paste in your own stuff. Click this little down arrow to see it. So this is the same as my query. Okay, push this little button so you can just push this and it'll uh, minimize or maximize this and you can push this to see the whole query. So you want to run this, execute, price list name, we're gonna select sales price list, click OK. And this is gonna extract all of the data that you need in the format that you need uh, with the prices and everything in the order that you need in order to upload it. So a little trick here, right click, copy table. I'm going to open up my Excel spreadsheet, it's opening now. Here it comes. And what I'm gonna do is I'll paste this information in there. So again, just take the query results after you push execute, right click, copy table, paste into this. Let's see if I can make this work. Okay, so you have all these columns here. Now what you can do is you can edit anything you want in here. Well, sorry, any prices that you want but you can't leave zeros. So you just go here, item prices, assuming that your prices are the same. You can do the dollars here. If you have additional currencies, in this case, we have some specifically set USD currencies in the additional columns. If you didn't know, every price list can contain 
uh, more than one up to three prices for different uh, currencies. And if you set, say this is in Canadian, it's $28.99, well, $91.50 Canadian, then you have an additional additional currency at $91.5, $91.50 USD. If that business partner is using USD in that price list, then it will use exactly what $91.50 is USD. So you can ex explicitly set the USD price. So modules, inventory, uh, price list, price list, sales price list, double click on the side there. So you can see here that 9150, and I don't have it actually shown here, additional currency, one, two, three. So then you have $91. So if the customer is Canadian, it'll be $91.50. And if the customer in Canadian dollars, and then if the customer is in US dollars, it'll be $91.50 US specifically. It's not gonna translate it or anything. So this is really a nice way to use one price list for all of your prices in even multiple currencies. So this is already in the format you need. You can do anything you want, regular Excel stuff. You can modify these. So I'm just gonna set these to something else just to show you that it works and to do an example here. So we're gonna go like 35, 50. This can be anything you want, 100, 75, 5, 75, 75, okay? Then you have, you can edit this too. Let's go 80, well, it should be less, 70. Uh, well, let's go 60, 60, 4, 72, 90. And we'll set this one to 30, and then we'll put USD here. So you have to make sure that you match your currencies from here, modules, administration, setup, financials, currencies. So dollar sign is for CAD, USD is for USD. So if you have dollar sign for USD, you need to use a dollar sign for USD. You need to match this code for whatever currency that you're using. Okay, so I've set these. The rules here, no price list column can contain a zero price. You must put a blank in a zero price. You cannot put zeros in a zero price. And you can't have any special characters anywhere in your items. It'll cause the sheet to error out, but hopefully you don't have those in your item codes anyways. So the biggest one is just no zero price is prices. So that's why these are just blank. <clears throat> so now what you do is you just copy this without the header columns all the way over to J, copy this, Go to any text file. I already made a little text file here. Just called it price list import text text file. It doesn't need, it could be named anything. It's just a text file. Paste. And now you go file, save. I didn't put the whole list in there. You, you can filter this if you want. You don't, you can do anything you want really. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, items in there. So now the price list import.txt is here. File, save. You can leave this open. Unlike most of the Excel files, you could just leave this open if you want. It's not gonna impact it. Go back to your import from Excel, find your file. Once you find your file and you get it there, then you just push import. I recommend backing up your database if you can. It's unlikely to cause issues, but I would definitely not have people working in the system if possible. You can always go to modules, administration, utilities, connected clients, and you can see if anybody is connected other than you. So I'm all alone here, but if you need to, you can click them and you can disconnect them and that will help you to clear everybody off so you don't have people accidentally updating the prices at the same time. I have never seen any problems with this. I've seen problems with the DTW when people are actively working in the specific items, but uh, it doesn't seem to cause trouble with this. And then you just push, make sure you have price list number first, item number up to J, push import. Do, 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 do. So let's take this one here. Modules, inventory, item master data. We're in find mode. 
keyboard. So this one is supposed to be 100 Canadian and 90 US. Unit price 100 in primary currency, additional currency one, it's 90. So really super easy. And that's been updated. And that took very little time and you don't have to change prices manually. And because everybody loves Excel, you can use Excel to edit your prices. This is your captain, Mike Taylor, AKA Battleship Cobra. I wanted to thank you for flying with Battleship Cobra Airlines. I hope you learned something today about importing price lists and that you make it safely to your destination. Visit www.battleshipcobra.com for all of your SAP Business One needs. If you want to see more videos like this, like, subscribe, share, and join the notification squad by clicking that bell in the bottom next to the subscribe thing. All of the code for this episode is in the description. I do videos weekly, Mondays at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next week.